welcome back folks we are back with a new video and today we are going to be ranking car brands and i know this seems just completely out of the blue just ranking car brands but i'm a big car guy okay if you go over to my instagram you can see at least more than half of my posts are about cars or anything that's related to cars so yeah let's get in to the video oh and i'm sorry about this huge light thing behind me it's daytime and in my camera it looks like god himself is right at my doorstep it's it's just sunlight so here we have our tier list of some brands I, obviously i couldn't like list out all of the brands that exist because that would be a 10 hour long Yes. So yeah, we are gonna keep it simple with some of the kind of popular brands. There are some that are not all that popular, but so first up we have Citroen. I've had my fair share of experiences with some of Citroen's cars. Actually, uh, Citroen has this other division. It's called DS Automobiles, and there's this one car here. This one. This car is just cool. I don't know what to tell you. It's just a cool car. Like back in my asphalt eight days, this would be the go-to car that I would take to basically any race. So I'd say Citroen is like an mm, B tier car. We have Cupra, fairly new brand. Uh, Cupra has their Urban Rebel cars and I would say they are pretty good. So, B tier. Daewoo. I haven't had my fair share of experiences with Daewoo all that much, but I would say pretty alright. Once again with all the other Citroen and Cupras. B tier. Dodge. I love Dodge. I love muscle, American muscle and Dodge is a main part of it, and I must say, recently their sh their shift to EVs have kind of let me down. But before they switched to EV, they had this like last call thing where they like reveal some, I guess limited edition Dodges. But they produce the Demon 170, the fastest zero to sixty miles per hour car in the world. Just before switching over to EV, so I would say Dodge is A tier. This logo isn't clear, but from this M, I'm guessing this is the DeLorean Motors company. Well, mostly known for its DeLorean from this film called Back to the Future. Idea for the car is cool. It's time traveling. Top of B tier, not at A tier, but it's it's in the middle of A and B. Ferrari. Now I'm gonna be extremely biased towards Ferrari because my dad used to work in Ferrari World Dubai and he used to bring me stuff from the like this Ferrari bag. Tada! This is a big boy. We bought it from Ferrari world and I still somehow have managed to not destroy it. There's another 458 that's completely gone. Gone as in I've destroyed it because I got it when I was a tiny little baby. So Ferrari is definitely S tier. Now we have Fiat. Brand it's meh but Fiat does have their performance division which is pretty good that they have a bar they have the fiat 131 which is top notch for me and also they have fiat 500 which is well like <laughs> i can't really say that i don't like it because like deep down inside me even though i hate it because how silly it looks it's a good car so i'd say it's 80 ford it's pretty good ford has their recently released dark horse which i absolutely love and they have the gt500 and they also have their the shelby gt500s and i must say all in all ford is right next to dodge a tier gilio gili i don't know it's another chinese brand it's no <laughs> c tier gmc 
Now, GMC has some good stuff. GMC, I mostly know GMC for their like SUVs. Actually, like G GMC for just because of one car, it's their Sierra. Definitely above average, so A tier. GTA Motor. I think this is the company that has created the span GTA Spano. So B tier. We are going upside down now. <laughs> the Holden is an Australian car brand. They have the HSV cup trucks. Yeah, they are pickup trucks. Right below A tier, but is above B tier. So yeah, Honda. Honda is yeah, it's Honda. Honda also has their like performance. It's not performance actually. It's a different division of Honda. It's the Acura division. And I'd say even with that, it's still a CTA. Not a big fan of Honda if it wasn't obvious enough. HSV. <laughs> we are flipping ourselves once again. We are going back to Australia. HSV is Holden's performance division. It's BTA. Hyundai. Now Hyundai, although uh, from the outside, Hyundai seems basic. I would say Hyundai, their vision is quite good. They recently came up with a concept car which i really love it's the hyundai vision n although there's like this grudge against ev cars i would say car is pretty good also they have the corners which i'd say are still good i know they are all evs and i know people hate evs but if we are being real those are pretty good cars so a tier infinity no suzuki b tier what the f is that this just looks like volvo the whole idea of the, the trucks and stuff they just look like volvo trucks yeah this is just this is just straight up just volvo it's c tier jaguar they have some good cars that i like the xj220 i believe the xj220 yeah it is this this exact car it's so stylish and so luxury while being such a good sports car all in all it's just a lovely car i'm not a big fan of jaguar's like recent cars these cars are just no i don't like them it's a b tier Actually, they are, they are about GTA, Spano, and Suzuki. <laughs> there are just humongous E's here. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is Jeep. Who the hell made this f***ing tier list, man? Did they, not, did they not, like, double check the images are fitting in? So, this is Jeep. Jeep is... I don't know why a lot of people hate Jeeps. But I think Jeep with their, like, recent trail cats and track hawks, they are pretty good. So... I would give Jeep A tier. Kia. I know one good car from Kia. It's the EV6. I know this car is pretty good. I've never really gone that much into depth of all the Kias. So, C tier. Koenigsegg. Now, this is a brand that you cannot really say anything bad about. Like, can just try to name all of the Koenigseggs and just check. Can you find anything wrong with any of these cars? Like... Yeah, the CCXs, the Geras, the Regeras, the Gameras, Jescos, whatever you name, it's gonna be good. S tier. It's about Ferrari. Trenlada. <laughs> their cars are known for their reliability, but I don't see it. C tier. Lamborghini is another brand that's like basically head to head with Ferrari. Like, they, they are the main Italian competitors, so I'll have to give it to S tier. For my favorite Lamborghinis, it would probably be like the SCV12, it's a track car, and Diablo GTR. And next up, we have Lancia. Lancia is a big part of rally racing. Big fan of Lancia Stradale. For Lancia, I would say the Stradale and the Stratos, I think. The Lancia Stratos, yeah. Those two cars, pretty good. They are in like Group B rally cars. Mm, so A tier. Land Rover. Now I'm going to be quite biased with this because I have actually driven a Land Rover Series 2 way. I think if you have been following me on Instagram, I've posted some pictures of it. The Land Rover Series 2 way. It was, uh, it was still for off-roading. And I must say my experience with that car was top notch. It's comfortable, well, 
comfortable is an over exaggeration because that guy is old so a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of creaking parts in there but i'm saying as the driving experience comfortability because like we were driving over like huge potholes and you couldn't feel a thing so i'd say land rover has gotten a pretty solid like suspension system also just so you know that car is from 1965 and that thing still runs so that should say a lot top of it here right behind dodge next up we have lexus a lot of people fanboy over lexus for their lfa but i'm a much bigger fan of the lexus rcf 500 i know hate me if you want <laughs> but i prefer the rcf 500 over the lexus lfa i'm not saying the lfa is a bad car but so i would give it top of b tier next up we have lotus my dream car is the lotus exige s it's just the perfect car for me it's gotten performance it has reliability it's easy to drive from what i've heard i haven't personally driven one except for in forza horizon 5 but it's a light car it has average horsepower like 350 i believe 350 horsepower but you can definitely tune that up a little bit but it's really light and i love it so STA car and also there are other good lotuses like the lotus emira the y ja i don't know sorry if i'm offending any of the britons with my pronunciation <laughs> next up we have an italian car brand it's maserati i know a lot of people who like maseratis but in my opinion maseratis aren't fairly good they sound good they are, they have their v8s which sound pretty all right so i would say they are like bottom of b class next up we have mazda mazda is a japanese car manufacturer a big part of the jdm scene so uh, mazda i would say is it's another b tier car they have some good cars like the the dorito engine rx7 Actually, they have the MX-5 That's as well. Beyond. I would say it here. They have the MX-5. So, next up, we have McLaren. McLaren, McLaren, McLaren has some good shit. They have some bad cars, but there are some lovely cars, like the McLaren Senna, my favorite from McLaren. Then we have the P1, the F1, and the 720s that's the lineup of my favorite cars from mclaren so i'd give them a tier yeah if we have mercedes benz i would give them another a tier maurice garage I just lost my d tier we have our first d tier car we have mini b tier next up we have mitsubishi Mer mitsubishi has their evo series which yeah, there's nothing wrong with it everything in the evo series is good uh, a tier nissan d tier I'm just kidding. Uh, no. Let's go back. Nissan, I have a bone to pick with Nissan. Not because of what you think it is. I know pe when, when people think of Nissan, they will probably go for something like the Nissan GTR, I don't know, the Silvias. But there is this one car that makes me despise Nissan as a whole brand. If you're wondering what it is, it's the Nissan Duke. Oh, like just saying that name, it sends shivers down my spine. That car is so ugly. I don't know which, I don't know which engineer at Nissan thought it was a great idea. That car, it's just so ugly. Just because of that car, I'm going to give Nissan B tier. The only thing that's holding it up at B tier at least is their GTRs and their Sylvias. I actually like the Sylvia S15. So I'd say top of B tier. Opel, C tier. Pagani, A tier. Peugeot, C tier. Porsche. Do I really have to say anything? They have the 911 GT3 RS, which is the best track car you can find. Well, not the best track car, but it's, I think, I think got fourth place on the Nürburgring for lap time. Next up, we have BMW, I think. It's just a photo of a BMW M4. I'd say it's an ATF car. 
then we have Reno. When I think of that name, I just that meme from Instagram just starts playing in my head. La mia Reno è come riavere la Gioconda, un sogno. Liberté, égalité, Reno Coupé. This is gonna be another biased on Sangyong. Our car is a Sangyong Action from 2010. Pretty alright. We had some issues with the gearbox, like it's an old car, so obviously we're gonna have issues, but let's say it's definitely B tier. Subaru. A tier. No hate for Subaru. Suzuki. Eh. It's like a good daily driver type brand, but nothing. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. Tesla is. Tesla, I, I could see where Tesla are coming from. They are obviously not meant for me. As a car guy, I'm not into complete EVs. I'm just gonna be honest. In my opinion, most of the car Tesla cars are just iPads on wheels. They also like advertise themselves. They're like latest Teslas as like auto driving capable, but is it really auto driving? Because when you think of auto driving, you don't think of letting your car drive itself while you are in the driver's seat, ready to take over control anytime it goes wrong. Like you, you need to be there in the driving seat, ready to take control at any time. So I, it's not like it's auto drive. It's more, more like driving assist. I don't know if people who are watching have tried Gran Turismo, but like, have you tried having full assist on in Gran? Turismo, where the car basically just drives itself for you but in like tight corners you need to like take control of the wheel once again it's like that i don't see their like auto driving capabilities they it sure it can do some amount of auto driving but it's still not fully there i i don't know if i made sense there like so that's why I have quite the beef with Tesla. Next up we have Toyota. Toyota Supra. <laughs> Definitely A tier for Toyota. But that's not completely why I'm putting it in A tier. Toyota has some underrated cars like the Celica GTs, which is a big part of rally racing as well. And I must say that car is superb. Like you cannot go wrong with the Toyota Celica. It's reliable, it's fast, it's just overall a good car. Next up we have Volkswagen. Das Auto. Now this this company basically owns like all of these up here. So <laughs> like I mean even though they they do own them, they themselves don't really do that much. I can't remember Volkswagen actually was caught in some caught in some allegations for like faking their emissions tests. I can't remember exactly all about it, but Volkswagen did have some controversies. They would when they are uh, at Tests they would like lower the amount of consumption and when they're actually driving it would be like 10 times higher I believe. I'll put an article related to it. If you are interested you can go search it up as well. I'm sure you'll find it. So BTA, Volvo. Now recently Volvo has been focusing on their trucks a lot. I must say I, I respect that. I think we need more Volvo trucks. Like it has a lot of safety measures that I actually think are pretty good inventions so yeah eight here now we have w motors the hypersport lycans they are i think they are around like seven of those cars in the whole world and that's my favorite car back in 2015 <laughs> after fast and furious 7 released it if you don't remember it in fast and furious 7 there's this one scene in dubai where they were like think yeah stealing a car actually the car it's like the chip inside the car the god's eye chip i felt sad inside seeing that car fall from the from those towers <laughs> it hurt it, it hurt seeing it even though i knew it was obviously like cgi and stuff it's s tier now zen oh, oh my god i'm so sorry the spoiler it just gets me man it's so so weird some people like it i don't like it but the car is overall good except for the fact that you will catch on fire after like two kilometers of driving it so bt now oh, sherry that ah uh, one of my friends who own a sherry qq actually <laughs> if you have if she is watching this you know who you are <laughs> sorry to say but 
It looks silly, man. It's definitely in the middle of B and C, so I'll just put it here. Hennessy. Now, this is a big boy. Hennessy is fairly recent. They started off as like a tuning company, but then, start, then went ahead and created their own cars. But their first car was a Dodge Viper, I believe. A Dodge Viper ACR. They tuned it. I can't remember the exact horsepower model. It's definitely about 1000 horsepower. That's not exactly why I like Hennessy. Hennessy, I don't know if you know this, but there's this one specific car. It's called as the Hennessy Venom GT. Look at that car and let it sink in for a second. That car is just a, a faster version of my dream car. And they also have their own independent cars, the Hennessy Venom F5, which I've from what I've heard is the fastest American muscle car, so S tier car brand. At last we have Pontiac. I'm actually gonna be even more biased towards Pontiac because one of my favorite TV shows is called as Knight Rider. Kitty is Michael Knight's car and it's like a sentient car I guess. I know it's <laughs> It's it's a computer that can talk. It's based on a Pontiac Firebird from 1980s, I believe, 1984, I think. I don't know the exact year, but it's around that. I love Pontiac for that reason. So I would say A tier. And that sums up our tier list. <laughs> now, I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of hate for especially this. And this, I I can already smell it. It's my opinion. You, you don't have to be offended by it or anything. So comment down below if you think that there should be a difference, I guess. Or if anything deserves a better or worse place on this tier list. So yeah, that's about it for my fairly controversial tier list. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.